We are going to be putting that aside for now. Um, so we get on to an activity where we're going to be modeling the relationship between energy and amplitude. Please mirror after me. Amplitude. Amplitude. Can someone please explain what amplitude tells us about the relationship between <coughs> energy and amplitude? Who can tell us that relationship? What does that tell us? Here. That the amplitude can go higher and also lower, and so can the energy. And can someone maybe make that like a cause and effect statement? So if energy is amplitude is, Dorothy, can you do that for us, please? Please mirror after me. Low amplitude. Low amplitude. Please mirror again. High amplitude. High energy. High amplitude. High energy. Cross class. Yes, yes. Can someone also explain to me how we know that a wave has made a complete wavelength? What does a wave need to have to make a complete wavelength? Okay, I think you know. Go ahead. Class, class. Yes, yes. Please mirror. Every wavelength has a crest and a trunk. A crest and trunk. Every wavelength has a crest and a trunk. Crest and trunk. Okay, so we know that a wavelength has a full crest and trunk. And that is where we determine how long that wave is. Class, class. Yes, yes. Please put away the worksheet we were just working on.